But is, is that the normative way? If that's the normative way, why do we even have a Bible? Mm-hmm. Why do we even have a, a book of Proverbs? What's the point if God's going to tell us what to do every single day? Uh, how would you communicate to a non-Christian God's calling on your life if the Holy Spirit could be summed up as a feeling? Like, I feel comfortable in this job, or I feel uncomfortable, so I should move. Okay, so the, the non-Christian wants to know... Mm-hmm how he or she should know what to do yeah, like, by God? Yeah, the Bible is not going to be like, oh, I call like me, Sarah, uh-huh. to go to China to be a missionary. It's okay. not going to say you well, specifically. What I'm going to say, most people in this room won't agree with. I'm sorry, but I'm just telling to tell you my view. I don't believe that God normatively tells us what to do specifically every day. Okay, that's the traditional view, and most Christians believe that. I believe in what's called the wisdom view, that God speaks to us through the scriptures, and he gives us a window that we need to stay in. Like, for example, who are you going to marry? Just marry somebody in the Lord. You know, if you marry somebody in the Lord, you've created God's will in your life. You go outside that, you're going to have trouble. And by the way, even if you do marry somebody in the Lord, there's going to be trouble because you put two broken people in one relationship, there's going to be trouble, right? But I don't buy into this, you know, I got to, I got to watch out for the hints and the signs that God wants me to do X, Y, or Z. I mean, can God do that? Of course he can. Might he do it on occasion? Yes. But is, is that the normative way? If that's the normative way, why do we even have a Bible? Mm-hmm. Why do we even have a, a book of Proverbs? What's the point if God's going to tell us what to do every single day? I think God is more concerned about who we are, where we are, than where we are, right? In fact, let me give you a quick story on this. Well, let me mention one thing. There's a book written on this. It's called Decision Making in the Will of God by Gary Friesen. It's like 30, 40 years old. Great book. My friend Greg Kokel also has written on his website, Stand to Reason, Does God Whisper? It's a three-part series. Read that if you want more on this, because I'm running out of time. But let me just tell you what happened to my co-author many years ago. Dr. Norman Geiser is one of the great apologists of uh, the past century. He was in chapel at seminary once, and a... Uh, a missionary got up to do the little talk and he said, I've been a missionary for 14 years and I was never called to go. And guys are sitting in the pew going, never called to go? Good night. I've heard people who were called and didn't go, but I've never heard someone who wasn't called and went. (laughs) And he said it again. I've been a missionary for 14 years and I was never called to go. I was just commanded like the rest of you. Where God puts a period, let no man put a question mark. You don't have to pray about being a missionary. You don't have to pray about talking to somebody about Jesus. You don't have to pray to uh, obey God's commands. He's already told you to do that. And so when people come to me and say, Frank, what should I do? I'd say, well, how do your talents line up with what God wants you to do? Do that. 